What's up guys? Today we're going to be doing a full tutorial on how to do a batch. If you didn't see my last video when I attempted to do this, go and watch that one. It went really, really bad. So I'll leave that link right there. But in this video, we're going to go over an entire tutorial on how to use the Instacart app, some tips, some things I've learned as I've been using it and doing Instacart for, I don't know, three weeks now. So let's just get right into it. We're gonna hop into the phone right now. Let me turn on screen recording. All right, we are recording. So what we're gonna do is we're going to open the Instacart app. I'm just gonna see what we're doing. So what I'm looking for is a more normal batch. On the last one, we did only three items. It was kind of an oddball. What we normally accept is like 15 to 30 items, you know, ranging from 15 to, you know, and all up on, depending on how much the tip is. So I'm gonna look for stores that I'm used to. I really like Stater Brothers by our house. I really like Costco and I really like Aldi. So those are kind of our three main stores that we shop at. So I'm just gonna go and see if we can find anything. So I see all these right here, 18 items. That seems pretty good. I really wanna do a Stater Brothers. There's just a ton of Aldi's. So might be doing Aldi's. This one's two full service orders. So it's two deliveries. That one's interesting and it's gone. So you got to be quick with these. So some, if you don't just kind of, you got to just jump on it. So there's a Costco, but I don't really want to record in Costco. I don't know. Do we do the 25 items? I think we're going to accept this, this double batch right here for, and here we go. Oh, I accepted it. All right. So we're going to go ahead to all these right now. I'm going to show you guys some things on the way there while we're going, but uh, let's get to the store. All right, so we're on our way to the store and I want to show you two things before we go ahead and start shopping. I found out this after my last order, but before you start shopping and you swipe to start when you get into the store, there's this little eye up at the top. Boom, you can click that and you can see all kinds of information. There you can see the customer's note, the delivery note. So if I would have seen this with my last order, if you didn't watch that video where I had that crazy customer, go ahead, this will would have solved that issue. So you can see customer notes. This customer says to Foster Farm, whole chickens. So that's cool. We, we, we will make sure we get those. It also shows how many items. So right there, I can click how many items before I get in the store, I can get accustomed to what's available. So this is great to get a kind of a game plan before because Instacart has um, like a timer. It, it shows how often and how much time you spend per item. So 90 seconds per item, 120 seconds per item. Eight. So if you swipe to start shopping before you get in the store, your time will go lower swiping before you get in the store could be bad so right here we see we can go and say okay here's all our vegetables here's their meat blah 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 so we can kind of get accustomed to what's in the batch how it looks so that we can be in and out as efficiently as possible wasting as least amount of time so uh I used to go in the store, start shopping, and then I would scroll through the items. But now on the way there, I just look and see, oh, okay, when, when I park, I pull up, I just look, I see, okay, and then I go in. So those are just two tips I wanted to give you real quick. All right, guys, we have arrived at the store. There's a few things we're gonna do right now before we go into the store that we would usually do uh, when we get in the store. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna swipe to start uh, shopping. And then once we start, swipe to start shopping, we message the customer and just say, hello, we are at the store. Um, we'll be shopping for you. We'll let you know if there's any substitutions or any problems. So we're gonna do that right now. But also I just wanna say it's my birthday today. So if you guys feel so obligated, you can leave me a happy birthday like on this video. Thank you so much. Uh, but we're going to just go ahead, swipe, uh, start the batch. Uh, it's processing. It's processing, it's processing. Okay, got it. All right, now we are going to message the customers. Send. All right, so now that we've done that, we are going to go into the store. I just wanna let you guys know, I'm not sure how it's gonna go recording in the store. I'm gonna try to get as much as I can, so bear with me, I've never recorded live in a store. So, um, here we go. Let's go. 
When you swipe right to start shopping, you'll see all the items that the customers have requested in their order. And I want you to notice on the top of every item, there's a little A or a B dictating which customer that that is for. So make sure that it goes with the correct customer and make sure that you separate those accordingly. You also want to notice that there are little subtitles above each section. So you'll see produce, deli. If you can't find something, go there and you'll be able to find the section of the store that it's in. I know that's helpful for me. All right, so we found the Italian loaf bread. So what you do right here is when you find it, you click found item. Item. it'll have you scan it so we scan it and if it accepts it's the right one if it wasn't it would say wrong item so we found this one so if you slide over you'll see it's in done and this is for order B so we make sure we put it in the right spot okay. so for some produce you will see found item it'll ask for how many you found so we grab three three and this can ask for your total weight. So you just drop it on there. And we'll go 2.1. Oh. All right, so we've been looking for cilantro everywhere right here. They don't have any cilantro. And unfortunately, we just click, we click can't find item well, because we can't find it. Um, and that's it. There's really no substitutions. Um, this is saying green onions, so we're gonna go look for green onions, but I didn't see any of that either. So what you do is none of these work, and then you just say can't find replacement, and then refund item, and there's no adequate replacements. Now, if it was like something like tortillas, and there was a, you know, they wanted a 30 count bag, but there was a 50 count bag, like I would substitute. So you do the same thing, can't find item, and then you would just substitute replacement. So that's how it works if you can't find the item. All right, so we have one Willow Super Soft toilet paper. Wow, there's toilet paper, didn't think that was gonna happen. So you just click found item, scan it. There we go, so there was that one. For this toilet paper that they don't have, but we did find something similar, same brand, 12 count. So we're gonna click can't find item, scan replacement. We're gonna scan this one and we got one. So this is a solid substitution. So we were just gonna click, got it. They got toilet paper, so that all that matters, especially right now. Quick note, the customer, we messaged them and let them know a quick substitution about eggs um, and see if they're all right with it. And they asked us to grab us and grab another roll of toilet paper. So we did, so we're gonna just add it to the order. So simple things that they message you, just go ahead and do it and there you go. All right, so we just finished up in the store. There was a couple hiccups. One, you saw two or three items that needed to be substituted. Um, but other than that, it was good. The customer asked us to grab another pack of toilet paper, which we did, but there was no signs that said limit one, but we grabbed it, we went to check out, and the lady was like, oh, you can only buy one. So we had to put the toilet paper back and message the customer and let them know, unfortunately, you could only grab one. That was fine, you'll only be charged for one. So that went all right. So you just saw us do the checkout. We went through the line, two orders. Just gotta make sure you keep them separate. We use the smaller order up at the top. You know, there's a little flap on the basket. We put the top, the smaller order at the top and then the bigger order in the basket. That's how we keep it separate. You can do how you decide. Um, but it went really smooth. It was not a bad order, minimal substitutions. Uh, we've been only going for 35 minutes. So this order was $22. So we're gonna go deliver it. There's two drop offs. So the delivery is gonna be a little longer. So I figure we'll probably finish this up in an hour, but I'll see you guys uh, after we deliver the groceries. All right, guys, we just dropped off the first batch. And I just want to say, if you want to learn how to start a new side hustle, make more money, then subscribe to this channel because we do all kinds of things all related to side hustles and starting a business. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell and hit the like button. All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, we're pulling up to the last spot. It's 11.05, so it took us just over an hour to complete this delivery. 
not so bad, but I did want to mention that we're going to go over some things back in the studio in three days time. So you guys, I'll see you guys right over there. All right, guys, it has been three whole days since we went shopping. So I wanted to go over a few things with you really quickly. So let's hop into the app. All right, there's two batches, sweet. No. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so I wanted to show you guys uh, your earnings. You're able to go in the app and see exactly how much time you spent on every batch that you did, how much you got from Instacart for doing it, how much they tipped. And then I waited purposely three days because that's how long they have to change the tip up or down or leave it. After the three day window, they can't change the tip. So now we're gonna go in and see exactly how much we made. So first you're gonna go to earnings. You're gonna scroll down. You can see that I have my current week, which we haven't done anything this week, but April 20th through the 26th is when we did this batch. We did it Friday, April 24th. And then this was the first batch. We actually did some other batches that day, so disregard that. Uh, so this was the first batch that we did and we made $21. We shopped at Aldi's and we did two deliveries. So you can see that here, customer A, customer B. So there you can see um, we made a total of $14.70 from Instacart for doing the batch. And then customers, customer A tipped $2.15 and customer B tipped $4.32. And I want to share with you that there's two different ways that customers can tip uh, using Instacart. And one is they just, upon checkout, they can click a percentage, 10%, 15% or 20%, making it easy. So that's when you see orders that are tip $5.11 or $4.37. It's just like an odd number. Those are most likely a percentage of what the total amount of their groceries are going to be. And so those will fluctuate. Sometimes they'll ask for an extra item. Sometimes prices will be a little bit different. Sometimes uh, you'll substitute an item and it'll be a different price or whatever. So you'll see that those will change. And with both of these, they changed after the fact, whether it was up a penny or two or down a penny or two. Um, that's just because they checked uh, 10, 15 or 20%. There's another way to tip and that is using, uh, they check other and they can give you a set amount. So they can give you $5 or $10 or $20 or they can give you any amount amount that they choose and those are likely the tips that are going to change after the fact people are either going to raise it up or lower it down on you so be a keep an eye out for i per, honestly prefer the tips that are a percentage you'll see you know the odd sense so i wanted to note that so luckily both of our customers did not tip bait us so that's cool i love doing instacart if you like these videos let me know i'm thinking about starting a new business once this quarantine is over so if you guys have any ideas of what business you guys want to see me start leave that in the comments below. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next one.